We are in Old Bagan. Oh, thank you. Thank you so thank much. You. What's your story? Bye, bye. I made some heavy videos on what is going on right now and this is not going to be one of those. No, I'm actually showing you the beauty of Old Bagan. It is insanely beautiful with 4,000 stoppers, temples scattered around. So we're going to have to check it out. And I'm not doing this alone. Of course not. No, we've got our guides. Can you introduce yourself real quick? My name's... I'm a tour guide from Bagan. Thank you so much for guiding us. We also have driving us around today. It's going to be a good day. Where are we now? Uh, now we are in Old Bagan area uh -huh. in the archaeological palace site area. Okay. Okay, let's go and see a little bit good view yeah. on the top. So here. Oh, shoes off here, sorry. Okay. I make this episode also because I want to show you the beauty of Myanmar. And this is definitely uh, one of the, what? One of the most beautiful places sites in Myanmar and this is only a little taste guys I'd like to show you oh, yeah? the palace okay it's over there oh that is the palace yeah the is new that one they built is there still like uh, people living there no, no just for showing to the people how the palace was looked like from the period oh yeah okay that's why they tried to build about 15 years ago does Myanmar still have a royal family no no, no we didn't have because the, our palace, uh, like a royal family, finished in Mandalay in 18th century. 18th century, ah. Yeah. Yes. This temple is we call Mi Melang Jiang. Mi Melang Jiang is a no fire. Okay. No fire, like a fire precaution. Okay. Especially when we lived in this area, uh, they came and pay respect here for their house or for their family. Uh, so keep away from the fire like that. Keep away from the fire because it was fire hazards, you mean? Or what, what's... Uh, because before time, our houses were built with the bamboo or yeah. teak. Yeah. And also they cook with the wood. Yeah. That's why it's very easy to make a fire. Okay. That's why sometimes they, they would like to pray and they would like to make a wish. Ah, gotcha. Like a fire precaution. Yeah, okay, yes. okay. <laughs> yeah. So are you Buddhist also? Or? Yes. Oh, okay. I'm That's also Buddhist. The majority in Myanmar is Buddhist, I yes. think. Yeah? Yes, yes. Uh, so now we are in Old Bagan archaeological site area. So there are 12 gates around this area. So only two, ga two gates left, like gates. the original. Left, yes. Okay. And others are like a ruin. So inside the palace compound, the king allowed it to build pagodas and temples. Okay. That is also showing they are believing about the Buddhism at that time. Yeah. So, for example, like the biggest size, the highest size of the pagodas and temples were built by the king. Okay, <laughs> like it, uh, a little bit smaller than the king size. Yeah. Like for example, over there, yeah. like that side is pagodas and temples were built by the king ministers or king families, and the smaller size are built by the like a normal yeah. people. Were there like kind of graves oh, kind of thing? Or what, what, what does it mean a pagoda actually? Uh, actually, we have only three main types. Okay. Stupa, pagodas and temple. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A stupa yeah, yeah. is especially like a grave. Uh, okay. uh, the, one I, the one you said. Yeah. Uh, they are priests, they are monks. Okay. They are holy people. Yeah. When they die, yeah. they bury underground and then they make a like a oh. tomb. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tomb. And tomb become two, they are level. Yeah. By their lever, by their position, they make a decoration on the top of the tomb. So tomb became to tupa, and tupa became to stupa. Okay. Okay, stupa. That's why normally the stupa is they bury the dead body inside. Inside. <laughs> So is this an old one then? Yes, this is early 11th century temple. Okay. So why I say like that? Because you can see the brickwork yeah. and brick size are very thick yeah. and a little bit rough. Firstly, they try to build stupa and pagoda. So stupa and pagoda are if we pray or if we worship, we have to stay outside. If it is too hot, if it is too much rainy, we cannot go there. So that's why they try to build like a temple. But in the beginning, they have no idea how to build the temple more beautiful. So they just try to mix it up, stupa and temple together. Ah, okay. On the top is stupa shape, and outside the base is like a temple yeah. to go inside to get the shade, and also to stay and to meditate inside it. Mm. Uh. Okay, 
Is he like a caretaker? Hmm? Is he like the caretaker here? Yes, yes. Ah. That's why I'm asking open or not. Oh, sometimes it's closed. Uh, normally, so if it is a little bit like a afternoon time, so they also take a rest and they close ah, it up. Okay. So now is they open it. Uh, lucky, <laughs> so, lucky but, yes, yeah. Mind your hat. Okay, thank you, yeah. Luckily, I've got protection. Inside this temple, this is quite an old one. There is only one entrance. And during the Second World War, there were people hiding, like a lot of people hiding, taking shelter here in this temple. And you can see this also because the walls are black. And this is because they were cooking inside and had fires inside for lighting and, so, and all that. I would not have known this if I just come here without a guide. But luckily, my English speaking guide is tip top. The father. Yes. Buddha. Yes. And the fortune teller. Yes. And who are these ladies? So kin followers. Ah, okay. Oh, wow. And while we're here, we hear the bats. <laughs> yes. <laughs> because it's very dark. No name. Give the name oh. him. Hey, I think you are. You are. A female. Oh, we call you Candy. Candy. Yes. Yeah, Candy. Candy. Yeah. Now we're big and very Candy. <laughs> All right. Well, we've seen enough from this one. Where are we going next? To there. Oh yeah. We're gonna walk a bit. Yes. Okay. Walk in the sun. Can you walk? I can, can, can. But it's hot today, yeah. Bye bye. Bye bye. Candy. Bye bye. Bye Candy. Uh -oh. What have we got there? Very cheap. Very cheap. How much is this? Yeah, this one is 7,000. 7,000? Okay. You buy how many? You buy one or two? I give you this one. Can I uh, have two for 10? Two for 10, two low for me. Okay. All right. All right. Two for two. Huh? How? 30. Okay, 30. Uh, one three, one three. One three? Yeah, two four. Uh, let me just get one for ten. I'll give you ten. Four. It's okay, just one. Yeah, you. Thank you so okay. much. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, with a thank nice. Thank you so much. That's a guy, nice yeah, probably. Nice time also. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you so thank much. Thank you. Jesu Tinba Day. Yeah, Jesu Where are you from? Netherlands. Oh, Netherlands. Yeah. Oh, You're from here? Yeah. From Bagan? Yeah, Bagan. Oh. New Bagan. New Bagan. Yeah. Ah, okay. <laughs> thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jesu Yeah, Jesu Ah, little bell. Oh, the sound is beautiful. I don't know if you can hear it, but ah, very peaceful. <laughs> but the tallest one, how high is this standing? Uh, 61 meters. Actually, it was not temple before. Okay. It was like a very big monastery ah. to live for the monks and priests yeah, and yeah. holy people like so that. So monastery, the difference between a temple and a monastery, monastery is really for the monk to learn, right? Yes. This is like a school or like for the... Like a university. Yeah, 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 monk, yeah, yeah, yeah. Monks yeah, yeah. University. Ah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's why there are four levels inside it. Ah. And the first floor is for the monk. Okay. Yeah. And the second floor is for the priest. Okay. Like him, and the top floor is only Buddha statue. The King Palace was located over there. Mm -hmm. The King, every every morning, every evening times, he can hear the sound of monks chanting ah. and preaching. Wow! So he would like to listen like that. That's why he built very big monastery inside there, uh, like a palace compound. And what's going on there? The, the top structure there. The, uh, the, you see maintenance going on, yes, or what yes. is this? It was so shame to tell about the earthquake in 2016. 2016 was yes, an earthquake? Yes, wow. very big and very damaged. Very, did, very, did, um, uh, a lot, lot of buildings got yes, damaged? Yes. How about the people? Were the people okay? People were okay. Yeah. Just no, no, no problem. Okay. Only pagodas and tambos are like a very high stretcher. Yeah. That's why. They became oh, damaged. Wow. 1975 there was an earthquake. Yes. And, and about 6.8 reaches the scale. Wow, at that big time. one. At that time also big, yes. Yeah. That is why also Bogodas and Tambo's top part fell down. Nobody died, nobody, nobody damaged. Yes, very incredible. Yeah, know? very incredible. Yeah, that's why people also the, the native people they said that 
so they are safe find yeah, the temples the, the and pagodas like yeah, that yeah, yeah. <laughs> so in 2016 again here why did they build so many pagoda stupas temples yes because actually they have only five reasons the first one is they are very strongly believe the buddhism okay. yeah and the second thing is they are very rich mm -hmm. like a very good economy ah. like a they can grow, they can plant, their business was good. Yeah. Otherwise, also they cannot build like the Buddhas and temples. They would like to, they have to survive for their life first, yeah. and then they try to build, okay, right? Yeah, yeah. And the third thing is they have a very good raw material. Okay. So like a brick, like a sandstone. That's nearby here. Yes, it's nearby easy to, here, yeah. very easy to get it. Okay. So like a clay to become the like a brick. Mm. So they can get it very easily around here. That's why they have very good raw material yeah. for the building. And the fourth thing is their teamwork, right? Yeah. So they have very unity. Yeah. So otherwise they cannot build like that big size. So they didn't have any machine at that time, only with their manpower. Yeah, right. So that is also very important. So you know, the, the in Egypt, they have the pyramids. Mm -hmm. And when you look back and you see documentaries, yes. they always talk about slaves and they mm. have to work hard. This was not the case over no. here. This was maybe also not in Egypt. I'm not too sure. I'm not an expert. Yes, but yes, right. over here, you're saying like everyone wanted One, to yes. build this. They are yeah. very willing to help yeah. each other. Yeah. Yeah. So, so a king also built here and the people with their manpower, they would like to add it. Yeah. That's why they make, they built like it together. That's why they, they wrote down on, on the like a stone inscription that that temple is not only by one, but also by the people around here. The fifth reason yeah. is their location mm -hmm. and weather. So very flat. Ah, yeah, I see. Yeah, 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 and yeah. then the weather is not very rain. Ah, yeah, so they could work a lot. Yes, ah. yes, and also if it is too much rain, for the building is not very good. So there are many shops selling uh, souvenirs and clothing. Guys, there were thousands and thousands of tourists here, and then after COVID, this fully stopped, and then now you have the situation going on. So there are there are no tourists here whatsoever. Like I'm the only one right now. Maybe maybe ten or, or twenty people there are driving now with guides and um, I have a small backpack. I don't, I'm not able to keep buying uh, clothing and, and and stuff. So these people, I don't know how much money they make, but at the moment they're they're, they're struggling. I'm sure. And I'm saying this. Uh, yeah, lately I'm making these emotional videos. I don't know. <laughs> It's just uh, just the circumstances are uh, are not perfect at the moment. Let's say it like that. Uh, let's crack on, guys. Let's crack on. Over there, that is yeah. the archaeological palace area. They excavated over there. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah, yeah. So only they found like the foundations and some hold for the pillars. Yeah. And just like a brick broken pieces of the bricks and some pieces of like a uh, bean load, you know, like a beans, yeah. like a necklace, yeah. like that, they found all these. Guys, I cannot describe how beautiful this is. You're gonna have to come yourself. Uh, maybe now it's not the best time, but I'm sure I've got the feeling that the country is going uh, to be okay again very soon. That's... Uh, that's what we hope for anyway. Ah. Taraba Gate. Yes, Taraba is meaning is like auspicious. 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 Uh, like a very good luck. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes, lucky gate. The lucky especially. gate. Yeah. yeah, right. Because this is the east side of the palace area. Okay. So normally um, in our religion, like a custom. Yeah. So we are very heading to the east. It's like a lucky place like ah, that. Always east. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. That's why. This is the main entrance for the palace okay. and also the lucky gate for the king. So whenever I see a Buddha statue, does the Buddha also face east always? Yeah, face ah, to the east side yeah, as well. Okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was built in 9th century. Yeah, so 9th century, brick, wow. Yeah, yeah, they are original, only one gate left original like that. Wow. This is the moat. Yeah. The moat to protect for the, uh, like for the palace from the enemies. Wow. Yes. But in Mandalay is a water moat, that in Bagan is like a sandy moat. Before they try to put the water inside, but the water not stay there. So they make a trap inside underground ah. for the enemies like yeah. that. 
got suddenly the feeling that we are entering a theme park. <laughs> this is just because of the sign, it's so nicely done. And I think this is quite new. Um, but we're gonna have to check it out with all the respect. Hey, I don't wanna be disrespectful at all, uh, calling it the theme park at all. feeling it I have a little bit seeing that sign. We did have to pay a, a small fee for this, uh -huh. about 10 US dollars. And then why we actually have to pay for this one? What is the, the reason? Because everything is free, but this one was... No, 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 no. Actually, it's for this whole area. Oh, this for the whole area? Okay, ah, yes, okay. Yes. Because some of the temple also, they have a checkpoint. Yeah, yeah. And then I have to show the ticket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah, gotcha. Wow. But this looks quite new. <laughs> yes. And it's, it's all plastered, isn't it? The, no, they clean it up. Okay. Because the one we saw, the highest temple is like black. Yeah. That is by the rainwater. Uh -huh. Here are also some rainwater, like a like black color left. They are also clean it up for everything. But the brick so on the... This is uh, original color comes out. Ah, oh, this is the, the original. The bricks is underneath and the plaster is still... Wow. Good luck. What, yes. what material did they use on the top, like to plaster it, do you know? Raw material yeah. to do for the plaster. Bark from the tree. The animals skin, popcorn, lime and some sand. They mix it up each other in a big pan wow, to, yeah. to become like a very sticky paste. Wow. And then they also put it on the top. Afterward, they polish with their elephant tusk to become smooth surface. Afterward, they make a decoration on top. Which uh, year did they renovate this? Actually, this is about 10 years ago. Ah, okay. It's, it's like a little bit long, yeah, you know? Yeah. And suddenly we find ourselves running <laughs> because the floor is so hot. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's funny. <laughs> oh, yes, beautiful. Oh, that's also beautiful. Hey, uh, can we go inside also? Yes, we can. Oh, nice. we'll, we'll go inside. Yeah. When we get here, we can share our good deed to the other people with Strikey the Bell. Okay, and you do, we can do it do three times, right? Yes. Well then, we can meet each other at the next time. Now we also meet um, each other, it's the past life. We already met each other and we already say together, Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. Okay, nice. For the next time. For the next time. <laughs> when is the last time you were here? Here? Yeah. Mm, maybe last week. Oh really, okay. Also <laughs> guiding? No, oh. with my family. Ah, okay. <laughs> when was the last time you guided? February. I think I'm uh, even uh, more impressed with this, what they're doing now. Right. Bamboo structure inside of a, yeah, an ancient nice. building. Wow. <laughs> Hello, how are you? Fine. Okay. What are you doing? Mochi. <laughs> Mochi. Mr. Mo. Mr. Mo. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you, sir. Ah, working hard. Okay, we let, let's let them do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Buddhist countries, it's very normal to be monk for as a boy. Yes. Any time in the lifetime, you have to be monk once for mm -hmm. whatever. More um, times. Yeah. 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 I see also quite a few ladies here. They're not monk. You cannot call they them. They become monk. a nun. A nun. Nah. Yes. Not, so, does that also imply to the me and my ladies over here that you have to be a nun for? Uh, no, we don't have like that. Uh, okay. So 
Sam are, they become, uh, the monk is, they have to become a monk. Also here, me and mom. Yes, here, me and mom. But the nun is for their choice. Ah, okay. Yeah, have no, you, have no, you like tried this? Have you? No. No? Okay. I'm sorry. Why no. Do, no, 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 you don't have to be sorry. But uh, uh, why do people, like, let's say, choose to do this? Like, mm -hmm. also to learn about the religion and everything? or? Yeah, especially is their family type, you know. Okay. Some of the, uh, like, the ladies, uh, they are willing to become. Okay. But some are by their situation of the family. Okay. For example, like you no know, no relatives, like you no know, brothers and sisters uh, at the time they yeah. also become a small nun. Yeah. Some are also not very good business. At the time they go and stay there, after yeah. what they become a small nun like that. Uh, and also some of the nunnery yeah. also they have a like a uh, how, how can I call it? small children they take care look after they also have like that and then when they are like a little bit old age and they become old nan as well wow and what's the name of this one tilo melo tilo melo yeah the two two story type of the temple mm -hmm. we had to pay uh thirty thousand to mm -hmm. get archaeological into the something yeah yes so how about the locals? Is it free for the locals? Yes, free yeah. for the locals. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Only for the like a tourist. Yeah, yes. yeah. I mean, it takes a lot of maintenance, especially after the earthquake. Uh, there's a lot of things to be fixed. So no wonder they uh, they charge. Pagodas and temples were built by the like a big family. Ah, okay. Family, like pagodas groups. Uh -huh. So these uh, these are not tombs at all because no, there no. are some writings on there as well. No, no, no. Huh? Yeah, like writing the name of the donors. Oh, of the donors. Okay. <laughs> ah, okay. So yes. no graves here. No graves. Ah. <laughs> More to worship. Yes, yes, yes. Ah. Okay. So sometimes in 11th century, 12th century, 13th century, at that time, some of the big families also they trying to build pagodas and temples and stupas in the same area. Okay. Like a father, mother, brother, sisters, like a uncle, relatives, all together in yeah. a big place like yeah. that. Yeah. Beautiful. Englaba, yeah. what's your story? Yeah. What's your story? Bye, bye. My name is Tadosidu. Tadosidu. He's a photographer. Oh, yeah? Uh, also, Sally, a postcard. Uh, do, can you, do you have a camera now? Um, uh, Oh, he is uh, like a show you a place how to take a photo and which place is more beautiful okay. to take a photo like that. Yeah, can he can he guide us? Just for a few minutes, yeah. Oh. Huh. <laughs> so we have a little guide. He's uh, yeah, he's having a little uh, business here, and there's literally no one. At the moment, visiting this place, so we might as well. Ah, oh, yeah, this is beautiful. You want to take it? It's mine. Uh, ah, okay. You want to trade? Ho ho. Ah. My bunny. <laughs> Thank you so much. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Where is he going then? Oh, he... oh what men are they are his parents. Ah, okay. So he looks after around here. Mm -hmm.
go uh, off-road a little bit to a secret place, a hidden place in Bagan, Myanmar, 2024. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Umbrella, Thank you. Umbrella. Nice. Umbrella, Myanmar. Nice. <laughs> Ah, Netherlands. Oh, Netherlands. 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 Okay. Okay. Oh. Very peaceful. Oh, we're going on top of a stupa, I think. This is beautiful. Look at your back. Yes. Wow. Spectacular views up here with the Irrawaddy River behind us. An endless amount of temples, tapas sticking out of the landscape. It's something else, eh? <laughs> have a little snack so we're just checking if there's uh, some snacks that we maybe can eat yeah oh yeah he wants to come with us oh, come. <laughs> what you like you can come if you want oh you don't like <laughs> Okay. Okay, okay. Ah, so what do we got? <laughs> Thank you. Have, have you ordered already? Yeah, yeah. And what did you order? Yes, we can have one oh, to yeah? see here. This wow. is called the vegetable tempura. Bengla Yeah, they fried like oh. Wow. It's one of the popular places in Bagan. And this is, as many people have seen in a long while, Gathering together, eating, having a good time. This looks nice. This is how it's supposed to be, guys. Hey. Yeah, this is the nice thing about sitting somewhere, doesn't matter where, you yes. always get tea. Always get tea. Free tea. For everyone. This is a bowl leaf. Onion some tomato and a peanut powder mm. oh wow thank you jesu ba is it okay because i know jesu timbare is, is nicer right yeah, yeah, it's more polite. It's it's but polite. you say to anyone here do you say jesu ba is okay yeah it's like a short word yeah okay like thanks <laughs> yeah thanks. Ah, okay from the same plate no no problem no. No. oh with peanut you're saying mm. mm -hmm. Wow, oh, very spicy. Mm. Sour, and salty, and the mm. peanut sticks out. Yeah. Fatty, there's um, red onion in there. Mm. The name of this tree, I remember, Panyan tree. Panyan tree? Yeah, Panyan tree leaf. Panyan tree leaf, that's mm. the Panyan tree leaf salad. Yes. Mm. Delicious. So this is what I'm saying. The Burmese kitchen should be more out there really like there are a few countries that i'm you know they have like, like the netherlands for example we don't have a lot of good food and i understand that no one really knows what the dutch cuisine is about but burmese come on burmese should be all around the world like people know thai food people know indian come on this is amazing thank you and then i dip it in dip there it. Dip it. Yeah, <laughs> dip it and eat it. Mmm. Mm. Ah, like vegetable fritters. I don't know what this is. I'm sorry. No, it doesn't matter. I don't know. We don't have to say. We don't have to explain everything. What we do. Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> yeah. Hundred percent. Nice sauce. How about this? Eat a right then. Also, I have to eat the cabbage. Mm. 
sauce. Oh, wow. It's more like a bread. Yes, it looks mm. like a bread. Fake meatball. Made of the beans. Mm. Ah, delicious. Mm. Yeah, but to be and honest, cabbage. sauce is just, very nice. Yeah, I think I can I can eat a bit of cardboard with the sauce and it will be tasty, you know? Like the sauce is ridiculously tasty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sauce is important. Yeah, sauce is important yeah. and this is some good sauce. Mm. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen. And I would not come here if I, yeah, if I haven't met you. So I'm um, thank you so much already. Oh. Yeah, this is amazing. It's very, very it's pleasure. Fun. I also love to show you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Demananji Temple, the largest temple. This one is not the highest. It's the no, no, like no. the largest, largest. Right? the most uh, bricks. Let's say. Yes. Wow. Yes, uh -huh. and very massive temple. And made in the 11th century also. Yes, builder of this temple. He was a very bad king for our legend. Because he would like to get a king to become a king, like a crown prince. Yeah. That's why he killed to his father and brother. Nobody also liked him at that uh. time. Uh, and also nobody want to pay respect and wow. nobody want to follow him. So is that also why, because we look around and it's not really taken care of, like the other temples are really yes. nice and You're right. so no, no one really cares about this yes. temple. Yes. Ah. Because of actually, <laughs> and uh, he made a mistake. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's why and he, he also uh, not very happy, okay. right? Because nobody want to pay respect to him. Yeah. That's why he would like to delete his mistake. That's why he wanted to build the biggest temple in Bagan. Ah. Like the largest temple. But this he is, made not, this a, is not how it works. Mm -hmm. this is not. But he, did, he also made a mistake again yeah. because he would like to get a very good brickwork. That's why he check he check every day with a very thin needle between layer of the bricks. If he just put it in, he killed the worker. Oh, so he was the bad guy. In yeah, the, yeah. In the history, he was the bad guy. He was guy. like a very uh, mm. sensitive. How uh, is that written somewhere, or how yes, do you? Yes, yes. Yeah, in also, the stone or something, or how? how in the stone inscription, also they wrote down. Some are also legend by the old people. They okay. said that like that. Yeah. He also assassinated by their Indian people. That's why he died before he finished this temple. Nobody want to build again. That's why they just let it be. That's why no top, no umbrella mm. until now. We're about to witness the most beautiful sunset in Southeast Asia. Not talking about on the beach sunsets and sunsets from mountains. This is a man-made hill. And you used to be able to climb up some high temples around this time of the day. Watch the sunset from up a temple, but that's not allowed anymore. Um, also for safety reasons, I believe. Just come on, guys. <laughs> Bagan, Myanmar 2024. I am glad I am able to show you this. I am sad about the situation, but I want to make just one video just to forget a little bit of what is happening right now. Um, yeah, I am uh, soon going back to Yangon and um, I'll make a few episodes in Yangon. I'm also going there a little bit sooner than I expected because the internet over here is very slow. Too slow for me to upload, download, even to have a normal conversation on the phone with, uh, with my girlfriend or with my mom. So uh, yeah, I'm going back to the big city Yangon to carry on this journey in Myanmar. Hopefully we'll be able to show you a little bit of the city, a little bit more of the city. What I do like to say is that a lot of people here are relying on the tourist industry, have been relying for many years, and now that tourist industry is pretty much all gone. I'd like to guide you to my website, chais-travel.com, and we're able to help a little bit together, help a small community near Yangon, 
and uh, the money that you donate is going directly to like there's no uh, this is not an NGO or something it's actually going directly to a family we're helping the family we are helping um, the community over there so hopefully you're able to go to my website to see how it is possible to help the people in Myanmar a little bit. Thank you so much for guiding us. Oh, I'm also thank you very much for your hiring me. Okay, no, no I'm <laughs> taking you, I'm taking you. I'm taking you. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank everyone for watching till the very end. Don't forget to check out my website. Um, yeah, I would like to say from Bagan in Myanmar, bye for now and stay chan.